Hello again everybody, K5VOP here with a quick video on how to upgrade the firmware on your HRI 200 box. First of all, download the software from the WiresX user page. You log in and download the software. You want to unplug the box, have it separate from your radio and everything else. It tells you to un unscrew all those screws. You don't have to. So what you're going to do is, on the back, unscrew the top screw the top two screws, excuse me, and on the front, unscrew the top two screws as you can see I've already done. Okay. Don't be too intimidated by this firmware upgrade. I've been upgrading and building computers since I was 15, but there's really not a whole lot to it. So you've, you've taken off those top two, or top, yeah, top four screws. Pull the, pull the lid off and you'll see the insides. Don't touch anything. <laughs> Don't uh, don't get anything spilt on it or magnets or anything. All you do is see that little screw right or that little switch right there. It's currently set on the left to norm or normal. What you're going to do is you're going to flip it to the right. It says program or PRJ. Okay. Flip it to the right. Start your software install from the file that you downloaded. And it's going to ask you at some point to plug it in. So plug in the USB to the computer, continue the program, it'll update the firmware. When it's done, it'll tell you. And when it's done, go ahead and unplug the USB, flip the switch back to normal, and put the case back on. Four, two screws on the front, two screws in the back, you're good to go. I did this about a week and a half ago, uh, late, late December I did it. Um, Works fine. I've had no problems. So good luck. Hope this helps. 73. K5 VOP clear.